Well, good morning. I'm Wayne Hudson. And I'm Jeremy Tillman. Here we are again for the coaching tip of the day uh, as we talk about the Christ life. Yesterday we talked about 2 Corinthians 5.17 and how that we're in Christ, we're a new creation, a new creature, totally different than we've ever yeah. been before. And he places his self in us through the person of the Holy Spirit to empower us to live out the Christ life. You know, <clears throat> today I want to read a passage from John chapter 16 and talk about the power of God within us and us living in dependence upon him instead of ourselves or or allowing him to do in and through us what we cannot do ourselves or living by faith and not by sight in john 16 verse 5 jesus jesus says but now i'm going to him who sent me and none of you ask me where you are going but but because i have said these things to you sorrow has filled your heart but I tell you the truth, it's to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send a helper to you. Thank God for the helper. Thank God for the presence of the Holy Spirit in the hearts and the lives of believers. But Coach Tillman, wouldn't you say that we struggle with living surrendered to the power of God within us, that we, we struggle with this living in dependence upon Jesus, or as some people would say, we struggle with living by faith instead of living by sight. What's your thoughts on that? You know, I, I'm reminded of what it says over in uh, Colossians chapter 2, mm-hmm. uh, verse 6, and I, I know we, we say this you know a good bit around, mm-hmm. uh, around here, but Colossians 2 6 says, just as we have received Christ Jesus, mm-hmm. that's the way that we're to walk in him. Right. And we go back and we think about that. How do we receive Jesus? It's by faith. It's by us bowing mm-hmm. to Christ. It's us understanding that mm-hmm. we can't save ourselves. Right. It's us coming to a point to to a, a end. we see that, that there's we come to our end. Right. Well we say we, right. we can't do it. And so we we surrender and submit to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the same way we're to walk in him. Right. But you know, I, I think we do struggle with that mm-hmm. because let's let's really think about, you know, where we live and as us living in the United States, mm-hmm. uh, you know, the, the question that, that you know, I, I have to ask myself quite often is how much faith does it actually take to, to live in the United States? Yeah. I mean, how, how desperate are we? I mean, because you, yeah. you start thinking about, you know, when we when we live by faith, we're, we're, we should be utterly desperate for Jesus understanding that we cannot right. live this life without him right but so often what we do is we start depending on ourselves yeah. and, and you know and you, you, we start depending on our own on, on what we have mm-hmm. I mean but let's, let's really think about it how often do we go home and not have anything to eat we yeah. can go to the cabin now we may not yeah. we may not have stuff in there that we may not be craving at the moment yeah. but we our, our cabinets aren't empty right you know right. so you know for us, how often do we truly, or how desperate are we for Jesus right. on a daily basis? Yeah. And, and what, yeah. you know, I found uh, in my own life as well as others, those times that we're desperate a lot of times are when when we may get news about our health or family mm-hmm. members' health, that takes us to desperate measures. Yeah. But on a yeah. daily basis of us truly understanding that we're to live by faith just as we received Him, we've received mm-hmm. Him out of desperation of our of our need for him right. that's the way we're to live our life yeah. but but so often we depend so much on on ourselves and our stuff yeah. I, I would agree that that we struggle with that that yeah. but because of our our yeah. plenty yeah that we have trouble in living in desperation you know I think we realize that at salvation we were desperate for Jesus yeah. But sometimes we don't realize that we're desperate for him to live mm-hmm. out this Christian life. Yeah. You know, that I am to live by faith and not by sight. I am to trust the Jesus within me yeah. through the person of the Holy Spirit uh, in a moment-by-moment daily relationship with him. You know, and I, I remember one time that you and I were in Haiti, and we're doing some teaching, and had been teaching about living in dependence mm-hmm. upon Jesus and living in dependence upon the Holy Spirit within us and living by faith. And one of the guys that was at that meeting asked if he could make a comment. And this is what he said, and I don't think I'll ever forget this. He said, in your country, you have a lot of stuff. And mm-hmm. what I've noticed is that you guys live in dependence on your stuff. He said, mm-hmm. I don't have much stuff. 
I don't have running water. I don't have electricity. I don't have much food. You know, I don't have a lot of clothes. I cannot live in dependence upon my stuff. But what I find is I live in dependence upon myself. Yeah. And don't you think that mm. those two things yeah. often rob us of living in dependence upon Jesus, yeah. trusting the power of God that lives within us, or living by faith, trusting Him yeah. with my today. And don't you think that if He's big enough to hold mm. my eternity, He's big enough to take yeah. care of my today? Absolutely. So what we challenge you with today, the coaching tip for today, is trust the Jesus within you. Be dependent upon the Jesus within you to live by faith and not by sight. Be desperate for Jesus today, just like you were desperate for Jesus at salvation. Hope you have a blessed day.